want to get back to breaking news. What a busy morning it has been, and this will likely affect your morning commute. A police situation involving uh, somebody who has maybe been firing shots down the I-10 just west of the valley. Yeah, this is the scene from earlier this morning. And uh, as Olivia mentioned, uh, this guy apparently had a long rifle and was just firing away. Let's get to Cameron Riddle. He's been tracking this breaking news. Uh, we are about, uh, what, uh, 40 miles or so uh, east of the California border. Cameron, good morning. Good morning. Yeah, we just got done talking with Captain Tony Mapp from DPS, giving us the latest update on what has happened here this morning. And there are several scenes of what I am about to break down to you. This all started apparently last night in Phoenix, some sort of situation, a possible homicide. Captain Tony Mapp tells us that Phoenix police put out an attempt to locate for the same person who uh, is believed to be the suspect in this morning shooting. Uh, so let's take you to where I am right now. We've got Bruce up in the Penguin Aaron Plumbing News Chopper. Bruce, if you're up there and you can zoom in, if you see somewhere in that parking lot, a gray Jeep Cherokee, Bruce, a gray Jeep Cherokee. Uh, Captain Tony Mapp tells us that is the suspect vehicle. It is in the parking lot with those semi trucks. In those semi trucks were witnesses. We talked to them a little bit earlier. One of them was a truck driver named Craig Moore. He was a woken up to, he says, a lot of gunfire as he slept at this rest stop. I was here sleeping, woke up by gunfire, and we were safely removed. No one hurt. The officers, very good officers, good at their job. They got us safely out. We're good. All right, he is good. He and several other people are okay. This is scene three. Scene two is somewhere back there on I-10. We passed it on our way here. You'll remember at 4.30 this morning, we reported to you from mile marker 81 at Salome Road. Somewhere between here and there, we came across a semi-truck that was stopped with some police officers. Uh, Captain Mapp tells us that the suspect fired something toward that truck. The truck driver was injured with shrapnel, not necessarily a bullet, but shrapnel. So there was was at least one vehicle, one person that was shot along uh, the I-10 with something. He says shrapnel. Then we get down here 50 miles uh, just uh, east of the California Arizona border and that is where the situation ends. He tells us police did fire back at the suspect. The suspect fired at police. No one has been hurt. The suspect at last check is alive. Uh, none of the witnesses here were injured. They have all been uh, over with police in a warm area inside a uh, border patrol truck, actually. Uh, and so this is scene three of this multi uh, scene thing that is really just beginning. The side effect to all of this is eastbound I-10 is open this morning, but westbound I-10 has been closed at least since 2 a.m. Uh, and so people have cars have died. They're on the side of the road. They're stuck in the middle because they have just been sitting there waiting for the past couple of hours as the highway is still closed. Right now, there is no timeline on when it will open because this is the epicenter right in the middle. So if you're headed to California this morning, I uh, definitely are going to need to find another way to get there. This is a very active scene reporting live. I'm Cameron Rodel for Arizona's family.